I'm regularly asked, why do young men die by suicide at significantly higher rates than young women? There's a lot of different answers. Let's talk about the five that I think are key, five of the biggest ones. First off, traditional masculinity norms. What does that mean? It means that traditionally we've expected men to be stoic and strong, that they've got to be invulnerable and impenetrable, and that they've, they've got to just suck it up, princess. That's been the way men have been for so very long. Carl Jung said, emotions don't vanish by being banished. Every time a man has to internalize that emotion, it goes in deeper and deeper into his psyche. Eventually it is gonna come back out, usually in a maladaptive, dysfunctional way that may either hurt him or others. Number two, unfortunately, we see higher rates of substance use and abuse in men. Now, that's not to say that we should see more of that in women, but rather we need to bring that down for both men and for women. With higher rates of substance use and abuse comes higher rates of depression and anxiety, and also higher rates of impulsivity, sensation seeking, and making choices that are not in the best interest of the person. You get really myopic when you're under the influence. It can be hard to get out of that. Number three, there's a misdiagnosis and an underdiagnosis of mental illness in boys and men. Why? Well, it goes back to that whole idea of the hyper-masculinized norms that they feel like they have to stick to. Not allowed to tell everybody where I'm up to, not allowed to be truthful about my vulnerabilities, challenges, and difficulties. Therefore, when I do present, I may not be fully truthful or I'm, I just won't present at all. You put those three things together and you can already see why this bubbling under the surface eventually erupts and sometimes it does so in catastrophic ways. Number four, social isolation and lower quality connection. Basically, when it comes to young men and friendships and, and older men and friendships as well, men just don't do friendships quite as well as women. Unfortunately, again, with those traditional masculine norms, I'm not allowed to open myself up. I don't share the same way. I don't share the same things. Are men supposed to become women in this way? No, not at all. But an unwillingness to have the conversations is tied to increased mortality levels. And unfortunately, in the worst circumstances, it can be tied to feeling unsupported, feeling completely isolated, and feeling like there is literally no one to turn to when things are tough. The last unfortunate reason that we see more suicide in young men than young women relates to um, methodology used. I'm not gonna go into the details here. It's just not appropriate to do so. Women, including girls, do actually take more attempts on their lives than men, but men tend to use means and methods that are simply more lethal. And so we see this really significant spike when it comes to suicide for young men because their, their suicide efforts are simply more effective. As a sad story, the great news is we can do a lot about most of those things to help young men to overcome those hyper-masculinized traditional norms around what it is to be a man, to make better relationships, to do something about their mental health, and to have the disclosure and the connection that they need so that they can live with higher levels of well-being and hopefully so that we can reduce the amount of suicide that we see in our young men and young boys.